Hey guys, Kanji here. I just wanted to take a few seconds to explain the reasoning for the new channel and for the reasons of moving away from the previous one, World King Kanji. There are a bunch of reasons for needing to start fresh, but one of the main ones was due to having grown as a content creator since starting out with the original channel. It might not really seem like a massive thing, but I started that channel back in 2014, and the channel really grew while Super was airing, and I made some great friends along the way, and things were going really well, and I was, I'm not going to lie, I was really grateful for it. I met some awesome subscribers, some of you I met at Sayacon, and it was, it was great, and I can't wait to do something like that again in the future. My content started out like really amateurish and I gradually grew into like a much better content creator as I learned things along the way. Some things from other content creators, some things from yourselves in the comments and that was really great and insightful and I really appreciated it. I started some great series such as the Fusion Challenge and Dragon Ball Pictionary. Some of those live streams were so much fun. I, I really, really didn't want to move away from them. One of the things that's taken me so long to start this channel again is just because I just kept trying to salvage the content that was on the original channel. I had so many memories and things and I just didn't want to lose a lot of that work that I'd done. But I, after enough soul searching and thinking about it, I realized it was just time to do it. Some of those series I still really adore and I want to reboot as soon as I can. But each of those episodes took such a long time to make. Like seriously, the fusion challenges, oh my god, they were so much fun. But I used to have to take like a week, maybe even two weeks off just to be able to get one done. Because it wasn't just a case of editing all the audio together and making it funny and getting all the things out. I had to, I had to design the characters. Uh, I had to make sure that they were unguessable. I'd have to test them out on one of my friends on YouTube, like, you know, because I couldn't just pull a random friend out and say, hey, do you know who this is? Because they'd be like, no. So I used to have to sit down and, like, find one of my friends who wasn't going to be in the video and say, hey, can I test these out on you? Do you know who these are? And so that would take time. If they were too easy to guess, I'd have to redesign them. Um, if they weren't funny, I would have to redesign them. And then I would have to schedule getting contact with the other content creators, then find out uh, when they were free and if they were happy to, to do it, obviously. And then you would end up getting into the whole actual recording side of things, making sure that everybody's got a role, everybody's seen the same things, nobody spoiled it for anybody. So I used to have to record, I used to have to find like a block of time where all the content creators could sit down with me one by one, not talk to each other, not spoil anything, and still manage to get it out in a time that actually suits everybody. It was so hard. And then editing it together. I mean, honestly, the editing of the videos, it probably took me like, I think it probably took me about 48 hours to edit the audio together just because there was so much I would have to sift through. You've got to imagine that each of those videos was probably just under an hour long each. And that was really, really, really scaled down the amount of time that I spent in the conversations. I mean, I remember the one the, the one where Geekdom won the Fusion Challenge title. I, I think me and him probably spoke for about two hours on that call, and I had to edit it down so that there was like 10 minutes of Geekdom in the video. It's stuff like that that took absolutely ages, and it was ridiculous. So yeah, all of those things took so long to do. And um, you know, through my own short-sightedness, the previous channel just wasn't going to be a good platform to continue on if I wished to promote the future videos. As some of you are probably aware, because who isn't, YouTube was a really different place back in 2014. Before YouTube had like changed their rules about themes of the content and cursing in the content, I had many fun and silly videos which were now deemed inappropriate for younger viewers, which is of course true. And given it was a Dragon Ball themed channel, YouTube wanted to try and push out the content to the younger viewers. So it wasn't going to promote my content because it just wasn't suitable. It made sense at this point to kind of just move on and start fresh. So that's really the reason behind the new channel and the rebrand. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there saying, hey, it's not a good time to restart the, the channel. Dragon Ball isn't as popular as it was. And that's fine. I'm not doing it for the views. I am doing it because I miss it and I want to do it. And I'm also, I miss having the, the fun of doing the fusion challenges and stuff. It's taken me a very long time to sit down and find a better way of doing it, which isn't quite as time consuming, but is still as fun to watch. So I'm excited to you know, start those out and bring you guys them in the future. And I hope you continue to support me along the way. For the newer viewers that I'm going to pick up, I hope you enjoy the content. There's going to be a lot of fun interactive Dragon Ball content, games, not as in the Dragon Ball games like Xenoverse, but like games I'm going to make so that you guys can play along. 
uh, theories, fan fictions, and reasonable what if content, as well as a bunch of other series and things I have lined up. But for now, I just wanted to say welcome to the new channel. Thanks for checking it out. Please subscribe if you are interested and leave any comments down below of anything you'd like me to bring over from the last channel, such as series, whether it's Heel Kanji, the Fusion Challenge, Dragon Ball Pictionary, transformations we'd like to see. Any of that would be super helpful and just great to know. Anyway, thanks for everything over the years, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye!